Welcome back to my channel everyone. My name is Hadita and I do sewing and DIY fashion. Today we are gonna make a pants, like basic pants. Um, yeah, it's been a while since I work and now I finally get to go back and do some work. So, uh, I'm, I started with the measurements. Um, yeah, like how to do them. Take the measurements. Now I'm gonna trace. Um <laughs> trace one of the pants that fit me well and I, uh, I like how it fits me um, I have like a small it's like a small roller thing it has a uh, small pins in it so that's how I'm gonna pin the marks in the paper so it's gonna make like small holes in the paper it's gonna be hard to to take it uh, like to, to shoot it in the camera but yeah, um, I'm gonna. That's how I'm gonna trace uh, the pants. At the beginning, I traced the, I traced the back. Now I'm tracing the front. Um, Actually, I didn't need to put seam allowance, that's why I cut it out of the papers. And also, um, I made a big mistake over here. I should have uh, traced all the pants. I traced like shorts, you know, uh, which is wrong. I should have traced all the pants from the top to the bottom. Um, <laughs> I realized that I didn't trace the um, uh, which you call I didn't trace trace it all the way like the belt area so I went back and traced it again traced it again Okay, uh, if you're wondering what that, um, I like you get a small piece of foil and fold it, fold it to make like a very hard stick or like thread, and then you align it with your bottom, and after that, um, you try to take the same shape you know and put it in a paper or like the fabric whatever you desire you desire and that's gonna be your bottom uh measurement instead of take the standards because sometimes the standard is like so tricky it's like it was like um too small or too big and yeah i failed so many times when i used to do the standard but i found this method so good now i am trying to I'm get, what I'm gonna do is like I'm, I put the, the I fold the fabric like to make uh, to form it as like for the top of the pants and the bottom of the pants. Um, you know this method it will save you a tons of fabric. So right now I'm gonna start cutting the back. No, yeah, that's the back. <laughs> right. See here, 
here after I start taking them I like uh, put the same measurement the that I like the standard measurement I decided to put also the measurement that I took from my bottom and right here I'm gonna modify it to the like to my measurement not the standard measurement which is like the pants that I I told you before it fits me um, good <laughs> gonna do the same way in the front too go ahead and start sewing the pants of course we're gonna start from the sides like to both sides of the pants and then we're gonna go to the middle um, we, you align the the front of the pants of one side with the back of the pants with the other side like left was left back and front and right was right also back and front after you finish from a uh, if, after you finish putting them together, like uh, sewing them together, um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna do the small, uh, it's like small stitches in to make it fix you nicely or hug your uh, waist. Uh, you'll see it in further in the video. Okay, see you see these small lines. That's how you make it fits you in the waist, like in the area from between your be, um, belly button till the hips. What I'm doing right now, I am putting the belt the, the belt area uh, together with the pant I went ahead and I like ironed everything in the pants nice and flat and then I fold the the, 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 the belt area I don't want to put belt in there I want it to be just very simple pants over there because I'm gonna be like very high-waisted you know high-waisted like like um, High rise, yeah, high rise pants, uh, which with um, hidden zipper. Right now, I'm gonna start putting the zipper on. <music> pants is done nice and neat and it hugged my body very nicely 
I really like it. I like the um I like how it end up, you know. I think it's so lovely. And yes, I have made like I had a lot of mistakes on this pen, but in the future, I mean, I learned my lessons though. <laughs> so, yeah. Um so this way in the future I'll I'll do better. So, yeah. Well, thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe.